All right guys, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to record a conversation with yourself, but at the same time, it's not gonna be yourself. It's going to be a ghost. Really? A ghost? Yeah, that's what I said, a ghost. All right, the first thing that we need to know is that we're going to record three separate clips. The first one is we're gonna record just the background, nobody in it. So we're gonna record the background. Uh, you spelled that wrong. I don't care if I spelled it wrong, leave me alone. I'm trying to teach him how to record you. Fine, fine. All right, the second thing that we're gonna need is we're gonna need this person who's actually recording. Yeah, that's you. So this one's gonna be me. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. all about you. Duh. And then of course we have the ghost. Hey, that's me. I'm the ghost. Anything else? The end. All right, now that we are done recording, here's what we need to do. Put our SD card in, which we've done. Now we need to right click on our desktop, create a new folder, uh, rename that. Uh, talking with my ghost. Cool. Um, then we need to find the footage that we want, DCIM. It's always the last number, it's 110 Canon. And all the way down, yours will be a different folder number. And we'll take my clip and click and drag that up to the folder. Let go. And double click on that. All right, it's copying over. Perfect, I'm done. We'll take the SD card and export it. And when I export it, I mean eject it. So that way we don't pull from that and we can hand the SD card off to someone else so they can go and edit their video. Okay, uh, next we wanna open up Premiere Pro. Once Premiere Pro opens up, we go to new project. Change this to talking with my ghost. Change the location to talking with my ghost, not talking with a ghost. So that's gonna be on our desktop and folder talking with my ghost. We click choose and we click create. Once that opens up there, we'll go back and double check on our desktop. Now we have our project and the file that we need. So inside Premiere Pro, we're gonna double click. We're gonna go to desktop, talking with my ghost and click on the clip that we need. We're gonna import that and we're gonna click this, drag it over and we're gonna cut up our clip into three different sections. One of just the background with nobody in it. One with the person who's not the ghost and then one with the ghost itself. Now you'll notice here between this clip and this clip that there is, um, it's darker over here on this clip right here. And so I'll teach you how to match that, okay? But first, let's get them cut up. All right, now we have our three different clips. We have the one teaching, we have the ghost, and we have the background, okay? So now what we need to do is put each of these on a different layer and export them. So what we're gonna do is click this one and drag it up and click this and drag it down. And then we're gonna slide it over to the beginning. And we're gonna put this one up on the layer three and bring that one down to layer three and bring it over. Now we're going to hide those first two and mute these two, which leaves A3 and V3 all alone. And we can see here that it's our ghost so we're gonna export this one as our ghost. We're gonna change the location, make sure that it says desktop talking with my ghost. And we'll double click on this and we just type in ghost. When we double click, oops, it leaves the .mp4 and allows us just to change the name. Okay, exporting that. Next, we'll hit V2 and A2. All right, so we're gonna hide that eyeball, bring this one back, unmute A2 and mute A3. So now we have V2 and A2, which are our visible ones, and this is the background. So we'll go to export. It should keep inside the folder you want. I'll double click here, type in background, and click export. And then we're gonna hit video one and audio one. 
hide that, bring video in, unmute audio in, mute audio too. And now the person teaching. So in this case, it's Mr. Renner. So we're gonna export Mr. Renner. Mr. Renner. All right, now I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna delete them all. And we're gonna double click here and we're gonna to go to our folder and we're gonna click Mr. Renner, the ghost and the background. And we're gonna import all three of these and we're gonna drag them and bring them over here. Now we have to uncheck these things right here. We're gonna leave the background on the bottom and we're gonna put the ghost at the very top. So we'll put those on video three and audio three. And then we're gonna put Mr. Renner on video two and audio two. So I'll bring the background in, bring the ghost in. Now we know that the background, we don't need the audio. So we're gonna hit Command L and that unlinks the audio. Click on the audio and delete it. Okay. Now when we play the, the background, we can't see the background because there's video two and video three above it. So if we click those eyeballs, we can see that there is the video background, but it only lasts for a small amount of time. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find out when that stops and we're gonna cut all that excess. All right, so we're gonna click back left arrow just a little bit, there it is. So we're gonna cut that and get rid of that. And now we have to make the background extend the full thing. Now what we do is we double click, or excuse me, two finger click or right click on it. And we're gonna go down to speed duration. Now you think you wanna make it 10 times faster, right? Um, 10 times longer. So we would take that and we would type in a thousand. But what that actually does is it actually cuts it by a thousand percent. So example, it basically just disappeared. So instead what we wanna do is we wanna act like we're dividing it by 10%. Um, and doing in just that is uh, speed duration. And we'll go to 10% and we'll click okay. And that makes it almost long enough. So we're gonna have to adjust that again, speed duration, and let's make it 8%. And that makes it a little bit longer than the ghost and Mr. Renner, and that's what we want. Okay, next with our ghost, we'll click on the top layer. We'll click back here so we can see what's going on. We'll leave him muted for just now. And actually let's sync up the audio first. So what we're gonna do with the audio is we're gonna select, use our move tool and we'll click and drag and select both of those and they automatically select the audio. If your audio is not selected automatically, um, check to make sure this is blue. If it's not, let me know and I can help you fix that. Um, what we do next? Oh, right, so we got those. Now we right click on those. That's two finger click and we're gonna go to synchronize. Now we know that the audio isn't on track one, but it's on track two. So we're gonna go to audio and make sure that track two is selected and we're gonna click okay. Now what that does is it takes the audio from the phone and the audio from this guy talking, and it matches those up. So if we hit play. Separate clips. The first one is we're gonna record just the background, nobody in it. So we're gonna record the background. Uh, you spelled that wrong. Okay, so those audio matched up perfect. That's awesome. Now, the ghost isn't allowing us to see Mr. Runner. So we're gonna create a mask around the ghost. So we're gonna click off of this, click back on the ghost, and chances are yours looks like this. We go to effect controls. If you don't have effect controls, go to window and down to effect controls and you click on that so it appears here. We go to opacity and if you click on opacity, nothing happens. So you have to click the drop down to the left of opacity and we click this box. Now what this box does is it allows us to see what's going on there. If it's backwards for you, um, then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click the inverted. And what that would do is that would allow us to see the opposite, okay? So for this one, 
we click this, we're going to rotate it. We bring our mouse just outside the corner, and then we click and we drag, and that rotates it. And we want to rotate it because we want this on the inside. Because once we click this and drag it up, and click this and drag it out, and take this and drag it down, and click this and drag it up, we can't see what's going on unless we change the view, which you can do, but it just takes a little bit extra time sometimes. All right, so there we have that. We'll change this back to fit. Okay, but when we click off of this, we notice that there's a very harsh line. And what we wanna do is we wanna match those to the best of our abilities, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the ghost. And first we wanna drop the opacity because we want it to look like a ghost. So we're gonna bring the opacity down. And so now it looks like a ghost and it's about 50%. Um, and then we're going to go to window and we're going to go down to effects. And when we click on effects, um, it might be here, it might be up there, but under effects, we're going to type in um, brightness and contrast. And we're going to click that and we're going to click and drag it onto our ghost. And what that does on our, on our ghost layer here, what that does is it brings up brightness and contrast, and then we can take our brightness and we can click and we can drag it and we drag it until it matches close-ish with the clip on the left. And then once we've done that, then we can take and go back up to our mask, click on mask one, and then we can click and drag out just a little feather and that should make it look like it's all one clip. Okay, that is Awesome. So now going from the beginning, all of a sudden we end up with our ghost there and we scroll all the way through. And then right here, um, my clip ends. And so what I'm going to do is hit C and I'm going to cut that, cut that, and cut that. And then I'm going to select these and get rid of that. So my clip ends there. All right. The first thing that we notice that this starts off, but my ghost isn't here yet. And that is totally fine. So we're going to watch. That we're going to record three separate clips. The first one is we're going to record just the background, nobody in it. So we're going to record the background. Okay. So I obviously don't want my ghost setting the phone down. So I'm going to cut that part right there. And then play Three back. separate clips. The first one is we're going to record just the background, nobody in it. So we're going to record the background. Uh, you spelled that wrong. I don't. All right, that ghost is annoying. Great job, ghost. Okay. So on the ghost layer, if you want, we can um, bring the ghost in, faded in from 0% to 50%. And so this is an extra step that you don't have to do, but you can do. So I'll teach you how to do that real quick. Is up here, we'll bring this to the very beginning and we'll bring him up to the part where he wants to talk um, or he's about to talk. Uh, <laughs> All right, so right there. So right there he's at 50%. So we're gonna start a little stopwatch thing here and then we're gonna bring this back to the beginning of the clip and we're gonna drop it to 0%. So it's gonna basically ease in from zero to 50% over the span of just a little amount of time there. Uh, you spelled that wrong. Okay, so there that is. And then if we wanted at the end, we could go to the end here. Anything else? Actually. Since we don't have anything after that, then we're good to go. Okay, and here is our final clip. All right, the first thing that we need to know is that we're going to record three separate clips. The first one is we're going to record just the background, nobody in it. So we're going to record the background. Uh, you spelled that wrong. I don't care if I spelled it wrong. Leave me alone. I'm trying to teach him how to record you. Fine. Fine. All right. The second thing that we're going to need 
is we're going to need this person who's actually recording. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, this one's going to be me. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. all about you. Duh. And then, of course, we have the ghost. Hey, that's me. I'm the ghost. Anything else? All right. There we have it. That is how we do it.